Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Now I am recording this intro in the afternoon. Let's just say the morning was a bit messy. I'll show you what I mean. I thought I would bring you guys into the larger B&M store in my area. So this is like the hot drinks and well, you can see what it is, um, one of the food aisles. All the crisps and snacks. Drinks. Halloween costumes for pets. And this store is so big, it's got an upstairs. So up we go. This big space usually has stuff in it, but Today it was empty and that is a view across the main floor so you can see just how massive this place is. And you've got a lot of homewares and stuff here, furniture, things like that. And then this is another staircase that just takes us back down to the lower level. Across there is just more of the same that you just saw. So I didn't come in here just to give you a tour. There is actually a purpose to my visit today. So this is where they have bedding, cushions, soft furnishings. I actually came here to look for some cushions, but as you can see, there are quite a lot of gaps on the shelves. They do normally have a much bigger selection than they had in today. So I'm guessing it's probably some sort of seasonal stock changeover. I do like this one though, with all the different textures, but I didn't buy it. So as you can see, the Christmas stock is already on the shelves and there ahead is a garden centre. Now I'm not going to go out into the garden centre to show you around that. It's not that big, but it does have a decent selection of plants. But since I don't have a garden, there was no need for me to go in there. And then all the lovely wallpapers and stuff. Um, I really do like and m and I think you can get some really good finds. And then there's 
all these different types of paints for indoor, outdoor. It's where I got the stuff I will be using shortly. Um, there's a little glimpse of the garden centre. And Halloween stuff. And I'm now just heading towards the checkouts and towards the exit. So when I say I've been to B&M, this is probably where I mean. There is another branch of B&M near me. It's a lot smaller and I probably won't give you a tour of it. I say that, but you know me, I probably will. I thought I'd just have a sneaky peek at what Christmas items they have, but I am not going to buy them. Not yet. That's the exit slash entrance just ahead. And there we have the NM. This is the towel rail in my bathroom, and as you can see, the paint is literally flaking off it, so I need to get it sorted. But check out my bathroom ceiling light. It does do just normal lighting as well, not just the colours. I basically used a dry scouring brush to scrape off the really loose bits of metal. Then I have washed and dried it. Then I have used sandpaper, normal sandpaper, to sand off more of the metal that's flaking off. And I'm now using this special sandpaper. Cannot remember what it's called, but it is designed for metal work. And I'm gonna be sanding quite a bit, but I'm not gonna film it. Um, and then I'll give it another wash and another dry. I'm not stripping it completely of paint, um, but I want a good key for the undercoat and stuff to stick to. Because I've started the job, I will now have motivation to finish it because I can tell you, this looks bad. I do not want to be looking at this for months on end. It is far too nice a day to waste it indoors. So, that is the DIY done for today. I'm going to take you guys out for a little walk and then I am going to try and finish the crochet blanket I'm currently working on for my niece. I'm so close to completing it, so I just kind of want to get it done and then I can start a new project. This is a short walk from where I live and it's kind of like a secret garden. Uh, this is the entrance I tend to use. And I thought I'd show it off to you. A kid walked past me at this point, so I've had to do a jump cut to edit them out. That's the one problem with coming to a place like this on a day like this. Everybody comes to a place like this on a day like this. So I'm just walking past one of the play areas, which is there on my right. There are several footpaths that you can take to walk around this park. I'm not gonna go around the whole place, but I will at some point, hopefully in the future, show you some of the other routes. It's actually fairly small. You can do a full circuit of it, probably in about five minutes.
there's a second smaller play area just opposite that bench for younger children, but I'm going to take you this way. You'll just see there on the left briefly a glimpse of the smaller play park that I was just talking about. Covid has meant that the garden area has not been as well tended as it would otherwise have been. This area used to have little fairy houses and things. You can see there's a few of them still in the trees, but unfortunately, a lot of them seem to have disappeared. I'm now heading back round towards the steps which I came in via. And that's us heading back up towards the main road. So as you can see, the entrance is one that you could easily miss. And indeed, it was only after several years living here that I actually came across it. And I'm so glad I did. Back to reality. Crochet blanket for my niece is almost finished. I've got the ends still to sew in, but I just thought I would spread it out on my bed and let you guys see it. It is the biggest thing I have ever crocheted. And I get to do another one for my nephew. This is a new day. I have to say this was actually really tricky because it was really difficult to do with it still attached to the wall but I didn't have any other option. Not the greatest paint job in the world but considering it's going to be covered most of the time with towels it will do. It's a new day and the morning so I need to go up to Lidl and I really want to call in at Starbucks because there are some things on their menu that I quite fancy. I didn't vlog any more yesterday because literally I spent the whole day doing a towel rail and when I wasn't doing that I was on the sofa watching the first series of Stranger Things which I got through the full series and really really enjoyed. To be honest when it opened with the kids playing Dungeons and Dragons that was enough to have me hooked. I used to play it, granted not in the 80s, but yeah, it, it's a bit of nostalgia for me. So I'll be starting on season two next. I know I am so late to the game, but I just am, I don't care. I'm sure you don't care either. Maybe you've watched it, maybe you haven't. Maybe it's just not your thing. I don't have an awful lot planned because the weather is disgusting. It is pouring with rain. So I am going to be putting on my full waterproofs, which have been an essential living in Scotland. And yeah, we'll just see what I get up to 
uh, what I decide to do. Definitely going to take a break from the DIY for a bit, although I still have the damp patches to paint over, but I can do them anytime. I had to do the towel rail when there was no chance the heating would come on because you cannot paint hot metal. Well, I suppose you could, but it would not be a good idea. If it's pouring with rain, I might give Starbucks a miss, but fingers crossed, it won't be too bad. First pumpkin spice latte of the season, so I guess this is me officially accepting it's now autumn. Hopefully somewhere on the screen I will show you, or have shown you, what I ordered. The muffin I'm saving for later. Don't normally rate Starbucks bakery products, but the words toffee apple reeled me in. So I got a takeaway because I have a back on my shoulders. It's heavy, I'm tired. Um, it's all the stuff that I got from the door, so I'm going to drink this and head home. This drink is so delicious. I know I don't normally have more than one coffee in a day, but I have been awake since 4am, so this morning I definitely need it. As you can tell, it's not raining and it hasn't rained at all, but I'd rather that than I didn't wear my waterproofs and then I got soaked. I am back from Lidl. I'm not going to show you everything that I've got because most of it, let's face it, it's boring. However, I did get a couple of packs of these, £1.29 each, because to me they sound pretty delicious. So I'm not going to put any in the freezer just now because my freezer is kind of stuffed at the moment but I'm looking forward to trying them. Let's face it, who doesn't like sucking on an ice pole? An ice pole. This is like the Susan Album Party hashtag all over again. Here I am with my Starbucks toffee apple muffin. Well, this is it out of the bag. It did not travel well. Before I get too sticky, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of today sitting on the sofa and reading this. I'm maybe about halfway through it because I've been so busy researching for my Halloween series. I've really not had time to read. When I say researching, I'm talking days and days and days, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm only going to try a bit of this muffin and give you my opinion. I thought it would be filled with toffee and I'm actually gutted, but it isn't. It's got a very subtle toffee apple flavour. And unfortunately, as I tend to find with all Starbucks muffins, it is very stodgy. I like it, I don't love it probably won't get it again. I think for me, muffin break are still number one for muffins, but the Greg's sticky toffee one is up there and the Costa ones I find to be really good as well. Editing Kaz here. I'm going to insert a clip of something I filmed today for TikTok and I thought it would be a shame for YouTube to miss out. So yeah, there's just going to be a little clip and then I'll put the outro after that. Guys, I am so excited to try this golden Toblerone, which a friend very kindly sent to me because they're not available in my bit of Scotland. Not yet. Oh my God. I love Toblerone. This 
chunk was handily snapped off. Amazing. Tastes exactly like you would expect. It's got the lovely chewy, crunchy texture of the almonds. The chocolate is creamy and sweet. I really love this. Mm, so I know this hasn't been the most interesting vlog, but I don't have the most interesting life. I'm just like anybody else, maybe slightly weirder, but you know. So I hope you will come back for the next video, but until then, take care. Bye.